Meanwhile, Tajikistan has honored the line of Panchair Ahmed Shah Massoud two decades after the Afghan commander was assassinated. The Tajikistan awarded the country's highest distinction to Ahmed Shah Massoud and also the former Afghan president Burhanuddin Rabbani. Tajik President Imam Ali Rahman issued the decree awarding the order of Ismaili Sumani first class on both the leaders posthumously. The award has been given to Masood and also to Rabbani for their assistance and mediation in organizing inter Tajik peace negotiations. The honor is a recognition of the role that the two leaders in fact played in ending the civil war in Tajikistan. Ahmed Shah Masood was a legendary Afghan war hero. He was one of the main leaders of Afghanistan's anti-Soviet resistance in the 1980s. He then went on to lead the Afghan government's military wing, leading the strongest resistance against the Taliban from the Panjshir Valley. Now, he dreamt of a kind of a modern and a stable Afghanistan, free from the conservative shackles of the Taliban. But Masood was later assassinated, just two days ahead of the 9-11 attacks. His son, Ahmed Masood, was only 12 years old when the assassination happened. Masood shares his father's name and also his looks, but it looks like now that he also shares his father's motto to not surrender. The 32-year-old is ready to follow his footsteps. He was declared his father's successor at his mausoleum in the Panjshir Valley. Currently, Masood is leading his band of fighters on his homeland as the last bastion of resistance against the Taliban in Afghanistan.